Hey guys, welcome to the Monday Fly Report. As you can tell by my voice, I've been through some uh, bad physical health last week. I went to Houston on Monday and uh, managed to pick up a bug that knocked me out for the rest of the week by Wednesday. So I didn't get to do any uh, Black Friday this year. Um, it's basically I was <laughs> left in almost a coma state for three days. Uh, by this bug that I caught from some little kids. So um, let me just tell you what I think's going on from what I'm seeing and what I did see before I got sick. Like I said on Monday I went to Houston. On Tuesday I went um, to the meeting of Houston uh, Fly Fishers of Texas, a great group. They had a quilt there. There's, I'm going to run some photos of that quilt um, in Instagram. It's uh, one that's being um, not auctioned off, but you buy your tickets and it will be raffled off. And it's, I think that quilt's going to be traveling throughout the state. And that is a, uh, I, I can't remember the name of the organization that benefits, um, but it's one of the uh, Wounded Warriors thing. And you have to excuse me if, I, if we cut away, it's because I'm coughing, you know, it's, it's really hard. Um, the, the flu part, the, the, the bug part's gone, but... Uh, the cold is still hanging around. So anyway, on Tuesday I went to that meeting, and then on Wednesday I went to uh, fish a spot I'd heard about Tuesday night at the meeting. Um, it's called the uh, Texas City Dyke, and it um, turned out to be a no, no fish, nothing. It was terrible, but um, I had to go check and see if the, the good old standby, which I was going to go to if I'd have stayed healthy, I was going to go to. Um, on Friday and that would be uh, Sea Wolf Park and by the time I got to Sea Wolf Park I saw people leaving tied to gun slack saw people leaving with uh, their total limit of uh, a flounder so and they looked like they were catching them on the on the channel side rather than around in the uh, cove area so uh, by the time I got there though I must have seen 50 60 anglers out there it's, it's just you know typical crowds uh, and not a bent rod among them. So I just sat there and watched a while and I knew that I'd missed the boat on that deal. Um, for flies, if you're going after flounder on a fly rod, you know, use your full length. You can use a floating line because they're in the shallow water right now. But use a uh, full length fluoro leader, probably an 8 to 10 pound test. Just make sure it gets all the way down. Let that thing sink and then you're just dragging it slowly across the back of those fish and they'll take. And usually, I've got some in my uh, pot fly shop, but it's chartreuse, chartreuse and pink, pink and pink, clousers. You know, of course, heavy medium and heavy brass eyes on those. And uh, you need to make sure that if, if you tie the fly yourself, that you coat those, the head where the, where the hair goes over the barbell with something really hard because those teeth will just just fray that and the back side of where you tie that thread onto uh, onto the hook um, their teeth will, will ruin a clouser in a matter of one or two fish so that's that's a little tip there for you when it comes to tying flies for flounder uh, Danny Scarborough did a really good job uh, at the Houston Fly Fishers of Texas meeting of, of doing his presentation on carp and uh, you know since I, I went and got sick he took it upon himself to go to the Guadalupe River and he sent me, you'll see in the Instagram photos that I'm putting up, they're his photos from the Guadalupe, multiple, multiple rainbow trout. Very healthy looking, large fish with good color. You know, they're still stalkers, you can tell their tails are worn and, and their fins might be a bit worn, but uh, these are extraordinary fish and you know a lot of that's because of GRTU and their efforts to stock larger fish there. Uh, they're definitely not the fish that are stocked by TPWD. Um, those are mixed in, of course, but with the change in weather, I can't even have my normal uh, video outdoors. It's so cold outside here in North Texas. So we're, we're indoors. We're trying to figure out where we're going to do this from uh, for the foreseeable future because we don't have a fall here in North Texas. We have, it just goes straight from summer to winter, basically. And we're in winter time now here in North Texas. Uh, so think about the cold snap and the fact that now that it's gotten um, 
seriously colder. You've got options in Oklahoma for trout, of course. I've been talking about that, leading up to it, but it's solid now. And then um, think about the Guadalupe River for trout, because as that water cools off top to bottom, they become more active and feed more freely and move around more freely and don't feel so confined by the striations in the, in the water temperature, you know, the thermocline, so to speak, um, and things like that. So the bite should be really, really on now on the Guadalupe River. If you're in that area, you've got to go fishing. Uh, from what I saw from Danny and, and his foray down there, you need to keep your eyes on him right now. And his website is www.houstonflyfishing.com. I don't know how, up, how much he's updating his website with this, uh, this stuff, but Danny is uh, he's definitely on the move on the weekends. Um, back here in North Texas, we'll just, uh, we'll just hold on and uh, hopefully get a little more healthy. And maybe I can uh, get get to Oklahoma by this weekend and, and see what's going on there. Unfortunately, the weather's kind of inverted where this kind of weather is the best weather to be out there. But the opportunity for me to go is not right now. It's when it warms up to the upper 60s. So that's coming up this weekend. A little bit of rain mixed in, but it won't it's be a lot warmer. So it'll just be a whole different thing going on. I appreciate your watching. Sorry I'm under the weather this week. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, let me know. As thanks, as always, to my sponsors, and you know who you are out there. And uh, we'll talk to you maybe later this week via video. Uh, feel free to call me. My phone number is 940-380-0408. If you've got questions about fly fishing in Texas, uh, text me. I don't care where you are in the world. Just got a question, let me know. And... Uh, also, if, uh, if uh, you, know, you want to contact me via email, it's fly at texasflycaster.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.